Hi guys and welcome back to GPFW. Today's video is going to be looking at the Assist Kings in Europe over the last 20 years. These are the best of the best when it comes to playmakers, Assist Kings and people who just create goals at will. Without further ado, here are the top 8 Assist Kings from the last 20 years. Coming in at number 8 we have Frank Ribery who has 227 assists in 649 games. He's a very underrated player in the last 20 years. He's been he was part of one of the best winger combinations that I've ever seen with Iron Robin and himself at Bayern Munich. He has been a demon on that wing. He's been someone who every winger should aspire to, to be. He could have won the Ballon d'Or in 2013, winning the treble of Bayern Munich and being such a key player in that year. But looking at his, looking at his assists and the way he makes them, he's, he's an old school winger. He'll take the byline, he'll take players on, he'll create space and he has a lot of quality playing in behind. Coming in at number seven is the midfield maestro. It's Xavi. And when he wasn't being a ladies man, him, he was always creating. He was, you know, he was the guy who could take the ball in any position on the pitch and he could find, you know, any of Barcelona's incredible attack force, you know, not just not just Messi, you know, the, the likes of Villa and Pedro made such good runs in behind. And he has 230 assists in 950 games, which is Fantastic for a centre mid. He's one of the best centre mids ever to play the game. Someone who wasn't always in advanced positions. He was someone who was slightly deeper with with Busquets and, and Iniesta would be the one who'd be a little bit further on with the with the attacking force and the wing back. So for him to create so much from you know that slightly deeper position, um, the vision is just incredible. And he goes down one of the greatest passes of a ball ever to play the game. Bit number six is Cesc Fabregas, who has 234 assists in 800 games. This is a guy who came through the Barcelona Academy and had that way of that way of playing football that was just so natural and, and it had that flair and he could always find three balls and we saw that across his careers at Arsenal, Barcelona and Chelsea. So as a Chelsea fan I we have the we had him for a couple of years where he would just produce crazy numbers in terms of stats you know that De Bruyne is getting now in terms of the 18-19 assists in a season plus you have the quality of the, the long balls the set pieces and the incredible assist against Burnley which is probably still the best assist I've ever seen with the half volley cushion pass into Schurler which still yeah has to become the best assist I've ever seen so Fabregas goes down as one of the greatest playmakers you know ever to play in the Premier League. So the top five now and number five is Angel Di Maria who has 235 assists in 695 games. He's probably one of the most underrated players in the last 20 years because he's been at such big clubs, you know, with uh, Real Madrid and um, PSG, and he's performed, you know, wherever he's gone in terms of numbers. You know, the, the assist tally there, which we've just seen, is incredible. But his left foot is a wand. He's a very creative player. He can take set pieces. He's got a great, great eye for a pass, and he produces almost. You know, every season and, and in that time at Madrid he was you know overshadowed by by Ronaldo and at PSG he's been overshadowed by Neymar and Mbappe but don't get me wrong he is right up there with you know he's a world class player and over the last you know 10 years he, he has been a world class playmaker. Number four is Meza Ozil who has 253 assists in 653 games which is an incredible ratio. Everyone knows how good a player he is and how good a player he was at Real Madrid when he was arguably the best playmaker in the world for about two, three seasons. And then he came to Arsenal and in, and in his early seasons he was probably the best playmaker in the Premier League as well. So elusive, he, he looks like he has so much time and he's someone who deserves a lot more credit obviously. The last few years have been very poor as he, you know, he had the issues with the international side and then obviously with Arsenal as well. He's, he's struggled to really make an impact over the last recent years but that shouldn't in any way cloud the fact that he has been right up there with the best playmakers in the last 20 years. Number three is Luis Suarez who has 256 assists in 713 games and for a striker to be third in this list it just speaks volumes about how good a player he is overall. Everyone knows how good a finisher he is and but in terms of assists and, and his creation it's it's a slightly different way of creating goals than the likes of your Shabbies and your Fabregas who are always looking for those pinpoint balls over the top and those little intricate through balls. His sort of his sort of way of creating goals was being very attacking, being very direct and, and committing players, taking players on, almost like a winger, but in a central position. And because he was such a handful, it just naturally created space for other other players and people were drawn to him which left other spaces. 
and his link up with Messi over the time at Barcelona is, is a big reason why he's been so successful and why they're going to really struggle to replace him. You can probably guess who number two and one are, but number two is Cristiano Ronaldo with 258 assists in 1,008 games. Um, obviously in his early days he was a winger and their job is more to create than, than score and he did that in abundance at Manchester United but as his career shifted he moved into that strike, central striking position but he still created an awful lot of, of an awful lot of goals over his career. I mean he's equally capable with both feet, he can go either way, he can dribble extremely well, he commits players and because he's such a, you know, he's so good you have to, players will flood over to try and stop him and that and that creates spaces for the other players in the team and he's, despite his goals of being the main factor, he's also he's always been a great creator and maybe the ratio isn't the best in terms of players on this list but for an out and out goal scorer it is again fantastic. Before I reveal the final player, I just want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications for all the latest videos when they come out. Obviously it is Lionel Messi, yeah, the greatest player of all time, you know, in my books but and most people's books as well, with 319 assists in 866 games. Um, incredible return for someone who, again, is a goal scorer. <laughs> but this is the reason why he's one of the best players of all time and why he's arguably the greatest because he does both sides of the game. He, the onus is always on him to be the best player on the pitch and to take the ball and go and do something. And he has done that for, for so long. And when you're trying to stop him, again, when you're trying to stop him from scoring, it creates space and, you know, he can find them with will. So the greatest playmaker of a generation and the greatest player of a generation as well. So that was the top eight assist makers in Europe over the last 20 years. Let me know in the comments what you think about this list, any players you think would be higher and who do you think is going to be there in future years? Who do you think is going to be the best assist makers, you know, over the next 10 years perhaps? So let me know down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe and I'll see you soon.